by continuing on with getting every job done <laughs> in this area, uh, this has been sitting around for a while, our dinette, uh, we've already darkened that one end panel, so that's come out really nice. Um, don't really want to take all this apart. I've took the end off that side and I'm going to sand this in place, put some paper down and get this stained. Uh, we won't we won't probably keep videoing us staining stuff, but we're on with it and we'll show you the finished product I think. <laughs> just going to give it a light key, just so we can uh, yeah get some of that varnish on it. I think we put about five or six coats on there, end piece. <laughs> That's it, that's all it needs. Still blowing a hoolie out there. Oh yeah, I'll carry on with this. Um, just try to keep you guys in the loop what we're up to. Uh, yeah, what we've said before is you've got, you, op you just keep hopping from one thing to another. Trying to push on the big stuff, like our heating that's we work, sort of starting to work on, and our fire, but carrying on with all the other stuff that needs doing as well. Don't want it, like we said before, I'm repeating myself, don't want a thousand little jobs left all over the boat. So we're just pushing on, pushing on, trying to um, get every little thing done. So I'm going to continue sanding this um, and I'll see you in a bit. Uh, okay, um, million and one jobs again. Um, finished, uh, just wait for this to go off a little bit. Darken that up like we said we was going to, keeping the table light. Uh, light and dark, light and dark, contrast and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so, um, I've just had this bit of oak ripped down. So, oak trim is uh, colossal in price. So, there's um, a, a carpenter here that's got a table saw and everything. So, he's going to rip me down uh, a load of this oak. So, basically, they're biting, I'm just going to say 18 square, but it's like 8 by 6 or something. 2.4 meters long and they just rip it through the table saw and thickness of and there you go so you can see again this is a light oak we're just gonna put a very light oil on that try and keep that color something like we're not going to get perfect but you know and then there is uh the smaller i don't know why i was going up there there's the smaller trim then which is a little bit thinner that will just cover let me put that down. That'll then just go up this little bit and that little bit uh, up to the up to the quadrant that will go down there. So uh, you can see the idea, I think. See the idea again, light and dark. Looks pretty nice. Just needs a like a very light sand. Getting just take the square corners off a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to screw it in. This, if you look, there's um, the, the 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 thickness or whatever's done a bit of a damage there, so that's just held in temporarily because uh, that's got to be cut off. And I'm just g clamped at the end. I just wanted to see it because it's probably about 10 mil thick, and looking at it in isolation over the over the shop like, it looked way too thick. But actually, now it's on or just mopped up, I guess. It actually looks like fit for purpose because this this comes out probably ten or fifteen mil any ten or fifteen mil anyway, so it, it sort of looks okay to me anyway. I best get the approval off the manager. But there you go. You can just see just see that a little bit. So yeah, uh, as every as every day, I'm bouncing between one job and another. Uh, what I've also done is. Again, thinking about our heating, is just put the clips along along the floor there. Again, getting ready for our our central heating pipes. Yeah, the flue should be here this week, uh, and the the deck the deck glands, the roof gland will be here this week. So I'll have to start looking at that. Uh, I, I fully expect to cut that stainless steel. And have to put like a little bit of a dog leg in it. But hey ho. So uh, we're having a little bit of a tidy up. A little bit. Just to get this, this area back something like. But yeah it's starting to feel a, a lot more homely. If we're warmer 
we were sat in here Sunday afternoon just watching the well, sort of watching the rugby a little bit. Um, and it, you know, it's starting to feel a little bit more like what it could be, you know, what it's going to be. So yeah, we're quite happy with it. So right, um, fans pop in to get me some CT1 so I can bond the, these other frames in. T two, are, two are done and sealed. So I need to get those in. And then what we'll do, we'll mask off these frames and get um, a first coat of paint on that on that colour to see what that actually looks like. Because at the moment, the white is pretty pretty stark. So we, we want to see what that actually comes out like. What have you been doing? Tons of stuff. Put our first coat of paint on here. Uh, da, 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 let's take you over. Uh, I know you can see the difference. It's quite, it's quite subtle. This is a Hessian colour, and that's still the white undercoat. So this is a light, a light sand. Um, ah, yeah, I don't know whether you can. See. Can you see this unfinishedness ness over here? Maybe you can. But well, we really quite like that. Uh, it seems to have. It seems to have worn. Well, it's just the colour I was looking for. Keeping that side light. That. Uh, what else? Um, we've got our. We've got our hob. So a Montpellier glass. Gas on glass, I think they call it. That's fans department. I've just picked that up. Uh, more masking tape, more more adhesive, so I can get these other window frames done. Right, we've uh, ah yes, we've also got. I'll let Fran show you the curtains. We picked our curtain material uh, the other day, and we've now we've got to get um, a seamstress kind of person to cut those up for us. Maybe a little bit better than just cut up, because I could do that. Right, so yes. Um, we was talking last night for hours about curtains and how to fix them. We used this 19mm um, pole before. Not this particular one, we went for a nickel plated one before. That over time started to wear through the nickel and started to show little rust spots and stuff. So now we're full on stainless. Uh, I don't need to cut this to size because it's just the right size. Length, not size. Um, so that's good. Uh, stainless steel. We have a stainless steel uh, end cap. Okay, that's £10 a length. And I think they were a five or a pair. Uh, so on some narrow boats, you will see that there's also a rail. If you can still see me there. A rail across the bottom for the curtains to tuck into. because the cabin will slope. And if you don't, then the curtains are hanging here in the middle of the cabin somewhere. We're gonna try something else. Uh, mainly because of the grandkiddies. If you imagine a rail there, oh, that's just the perfect height to be yanking off and pulling up to see out the window and stuff. You know what the little tykes are like. We wanna get away from that. So what we're gonna go for is some tie backs, which we haven't got yet, or been made yet, to hold the curtains back, all the way back from the window, because we want to maximize the window. We're not really worried about dressing the window so much. Um, pulling those back with a, um, a tie back here. Of course, that still gives us the problem where when we draw the curtains, they're hanging out too far. It is so rough outside. We've got two storms coming in. Um, Dudley's the first one, then there's another one. My nickname for in certain parts of the world, Dudley, because that's where I came from originally. Well, sort of. Um, right, pressing on. So yes, these um, these cable tie, let's call them hooks for now, that aren't there, um, serve no purpose when the curtains are closed. So what we're really thinking of is a kind of rope or something like that. You know, the, the ropes that are like three ply, that like maybe different colors. Back in the day, they were like dressing gown ropes and stuff that we can just, maybe with a tassel on, if you want to be fancy, we can just hook on that, that, that hook there and that one there. That will just be enough to keep those curtains close without screwing up all the pleats and squishing them in too much. So 
that's where we are with those. I'm gonna nail one of them on, not nail it, but screw it, screw it on. Just so when uh, the seamstress comes to look at the curtains, we can then work out a, a height. So I'm just gonna go halfway there between, yeah, I'm gonna go halfway between uh, the ceiling and the, maybe just below half height because I've gotta put a bead there. Yeah, just below, maybe an inch below, half inch below. Uh, and I'm gonna put that rail on then. We have the tool already to punch holes in the material and put the uh, put the rings in. So the instead of rings being uh, sort of hooked onto the material, they're, they're actually, we're actually gonna, I don't know what the right word is, uh, forge, no, that's not, anyway, whatever. We're gonna bond those rings into the material itself so the rings are actually in the material. There's probably a proper word for that, but I don't know what it is. We quite like that kind of look, so guess what? That's what we're going for. Um, so right, I'm gonna get this rail on so we can get that measurement done. Got a few friends coming over later, um, just to see progress. Uh, and I think some of our fluid components are here, so I'm gonna go and have a look at those. But right, let's get this rail on. Oh, I've, ju I've just marked the middle of that. This is still plastic coated. So just mark the middle of that so I can get so I can get uh, my placement correct. Right, um, I'd rather have a pencil for that than a big fat marker pen. Right, Oop. yeah, put put drill where you can't reach it. Well, it's a much being picky, but uh, it's about two brackets the same. Same packets. <laughs> the screws are slightly different in each packet. So these fit nicely into the uh, countersink, and the others sit out like a sore thumb. So, great. I'll find some mothers. Right. <laughs> I've been shopping. <laughs> yeah, I've been shopping. <laughs> Have we got our material? for our curtains. Yeah, get out of the bag then. Okay, so what's happened is, we went to a place near us that do material bits, and they got nothing. So we went to Dunelm. Yeah. And we saw this material, but to order the material, it was out of stock. So what we have done is, we've bought big curtains, which are already made up. And my, um, Lady friend who's gonna Lady friend <laughs> She's a lady just, friend. just say friend for God's sake um, my... I don't call people my man friend do I? For God's sake, go on. <laughs> cut that out then. No no I'm leaving that in. Uh, my friend is going to cut these up to the size and everything we need for the curtains and the plus on the plus side it they're already lined. So I haven't had let's to have a, let's have a close up of that material itself. Um, I haven't had to uh yeah, so that that's upside like down at the moment. So our, our colour our colour scheme is green and plum, isn't it? Yeah. So. So the plan is, this is my plan now. These are going to be cut into the curtains on the five windows we've got in here. The joinette, I'm going to get some this grape. It's like a grape colour. Uh, or plum. Oh, plum. Grape, grape plum. Grapes. Oh, so when you went grape, look at the yeah. table. Great. My friend's coming, my lady friend's coming later. That's a different lady friend, is it? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to get the leatherette material in the grape colour, mm. plum grape, and get the, the dinette covered in that. And I'm also yeah. getting some um, leather dye I've seen on the internet. If anybody knows anything about the leather dye, please let us know which is the best brand to buy, because there's so many of them. 
Uh, I'm going to get a, a, a darker green to see if I can darken the chairs. Just want to well. darken them up a little bit, don't we? And tidy them up a little bit. Right there, you just get the idea. That's the right way up now, isn't it, with the pattern? It looks quite nice, I think, when you look at the way, when you can imagine it down the boat. Um, this is what I was talking about before. See how it, it hangs, because there's a side slope. We just want to put something in the back of there just to pull them. We've got a couple of ideas, like we, I said earlier, about some some rope or something. But it's, an, it's a nice quality curtain. So, right, yeah, that's the idea. Who's on Who's on Kerrang? No idea. Anyway, yes. Yeah, it looks good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased with that. Nice find that is. I got good taste. I picked that. I did. I picked that. We did. I picked. We that did. One. That was the first one I went to. I picked that one. Good morning from a very windy marina. Very windy southwest of England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for all you guys that think we have probably months and months of material, it's Friday morning. Uh, Storm Eunice is barreling in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough out there. So where are we? Um, I bought, I bought last night. I bonded the third window, window liner in. Uh, window liner. I'll show you how I do that because I had one comment that one guy got um he was using like an expanding foam kind of thing and got in a bit of a mess but uh we're using CT1 that good old favorite of mine anyway to bond clear bond CT1 to the 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 ply and then CT1 colored for around the window so that should be incredibly strong but yeah I'll show you how, I'll show you how I do that one because I've got still got two to do and I've still got four portals to do. Mm. <laughs> Better crack on, haven't I? <laughs> Better crack on. Right, so, yeah, uh, we take some rubbish to the tip, haven't we? Or to the bin as well. Right, so we're going to run our errands and then we'll, we'll be back and uh, let's see if we can get all these bonded in. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just turn you see around. That, that's, that's one I bonded in last night. So I think there's enough masking tape on there, but even then I had a few... Uh, I had a few uh, pieces of wood and even our stove flue rammed up against it to, to hold all that in place. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I got cut off my head off. Um, okay, right, let's crack on somewhere else, shall we? Let's crack on and get, uh, get some wood. <laughs> That's definitely picked up that ass. I'll put them there, Bob, if you want to come off. Definitely, uh, we're definitely in the middle of it. Okay, start to finish really. Um, putting these window surrounds in. Three are bonded in. Three are sealed as well. Two not. So, um, some little braces here, top and bottom. Nothing, nothing, nothing major. Just, just to join these pieces together so they're not. Uh, Flapping about in thin air. So that's what that is, top and bottom, just so it, it connects those two pieces together. They are all screwed across the top, but you can see these things. Are, and I can't, I, there is a button here, but if I screw into that, you'll see the screw heads, kind of. Like. Okay, so what's happened, or what's happening? That's all been trimmed, cut out to fit the frame. And I've just been, again, fettling this fiberglass frame so it fits in uh, sn quite not snugly now. So, uh, yeah, I was, uh, had a message off a guy last week who had used foam and stuff to put this in. He said he got into a bit of a pickle, but what I'm using is CT1. That's that stuff that I bond solar panels down with and all that sort of stuff. So lots of blobs of CT1. In fact, I, I actually use a whole tube because there's, there's quite a recess here 
So I have to put some quite big blobs on there so they, they grab. And then I should mask, mask or tape, tape all that up so it just holds it in place. And then tomorrow when it's all dry, I will go around with coloured CT1, which is a beige CT1, as a sealant on the inside up to the frame. Right. And the insulation. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put the insulation in there. Yeah, I've got, I was gonna do it, I just forgot to mention it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, this is that this is that recycled plastic stuff. This is that recycled plastic stuff. It's not the same as Rockwall. It looks the same. It's not itchy, it's made from plastic uh, recycled plastic bottles. Doesn't hold water or anything like that. So yeah, all I've been doing is just stuffing a bit just stuffing a bit down the sides and uh, um and round, and round the uh, along the top and bottom edge. Uh, a little bit left, yeah, just a little bit, a little bit more. So this isn't isn't is not scratchy, um, like like Rockwell. Okay. Right, let's get this stuff done. So you'll see I'm using quite a lot of this. So I want to make sure... I want to make sure that uh, there's plenty of contact patches. And I'll use, I'll probably, I'll use a whole tube of uh, this on here. And okay, it might be costing me 10 quid <laughs> to, to glue it to the, to glue it to the, the board, but uh, to be honest, at this stage, 10 quid's pretty nice enough. So, blobs all the way around, especially in the corners. Mr. Blobby? Uh, I don't want to hear me that, but uh, <laughs> thick ear mics can follow. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been drinking yet. Not, not yet. Yeah, the optimum word there is yet. So any of this fluff that sticks through, I can just poke down with a credit card later. Right. gloves off adhesive and uh, yeah here's the stuff just so that's what I I often bond solar panels down with and things so it's not just silicon from a DIY store you can probably buy this from some DIY stores but it is the the the, the important bit is sealant and construction adhesive so that will stick anything to anything maybe <laughs> Okay, that's uh, that's one in. That's well, that's another four. One in. Yes, another that's one four in. in. That's four in. Three are sealed. One to go, and then there's the portal. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Second coat on that bit, is it? Yeah. Yeah, catched up with that then, and then we now we do a. Yeah, so everything everything's had um, two coats on it now yeah. then, and so we'll go down and put another two coats on that. I don't know what you guys do on a Friday night or Friday afternoon. Well, I've got a chili in the pot cooking. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you seem to have some jam shed still left here as well. Not a lot left in there though, is there?
<laughs> we haven't touched anything yet. Still got no. coffees. No, I don't look in here. I'll be too tired. I need to uh, fill up. Fill up? The tray. Oh. Well, that needs okay. to go off now, and then, then the whole thing can have a coat, can it start to finish? Friday night on now about moonshine. What do you do with your Friday night? Clean. <laughs> well, I know what we're doing. <laughs> um, stuff mainly. Okay, so just had a brainstorming session again. Have we not? Yeah. Uh, We've changed our plans again. <laughs> the kitchen's changing yet again. <laughs> we think. Because, yeah, we think. well, we just. We're trying it now. Basically. Sorry, Fran, I don't mean to be for a dimmer stand there. Um, we we are replant. You know, we, we had to clear all our um, stuff, so we say, out of our storage unit. Um, it's it's causing us a few issues. We need to paint this anyway and all stuff and fix that. So we need to move this out of the way. Also to look re reevaluate our kitchen because if I'll just tilt you down there. We've been making some templates out. That fridge doesn't work there, does it? Again. Again, it doesn't. So what we want to do, we're going to press on with this. We, do you want to watch us move all this rubbish and maybe make, come and help? If you're in the area, come and help, come and help us. <laughs> we're moving all this stuff. We've just cleared a space <laughs> in the bathroom area. We need to get rid of all this so we can look at this open space again. I'm not doing that tonight. What are you doing on Friday night? Um, yeah, we're going to stack them in there. And anyway, we're we're going to do that now. And before you know it, let's 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 try one of them. Let's try one of them things. Done. I can't believe you've got a beer and I haven't. Your wine's right there. Can we pour you a wine? Yes. Okay. Right, all that stuff's in the back now. Um, don't look that way. <laughs> so let's, let's pour Fanny a wine. So we're gonna put you down there. Well, that's a big one. Ooh, I don't mind that. No, no. Cheers. <laughs> Still Friday night here on Moonshine. So plan. 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 Um, so this is gonna be in the middle. Um, Built-in oven and hob with a drawer underneath. Drawer underneath. Two corner cabinets curved. Yeah. And two straight ones at the back. Yeah. And then we've got three 600 units. And now our fridge freezer. One, two, three, and our humongous fridge freezer. And then a bit of storage at the top there as well. Maybe, maybe just a shelf on the top of there for yeah. some pots and things. Uh, it actually looks a bit bigger than I thought it would be up there. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we, obviously the fridge is, is going to stick out like a sore thumb there. So, you know, you'd normally put in, if you're building a kitchen in a house, you'd put a decorative end there and we're going to do something similar, aren't we? Yeah. We, it might be a decorative end. Yeah, Brandy, I want the door to shut. Yeah, so, so, so just to come off so, the edge of the fridge. I'm going to try and get the fridge back a little bit further, which I think I probably can. Um, but what we're talking about is, and I know we didn't see that, um, that, that will be the, the front of the, the cupboard where that white line is. There'll be like about an inch, an inch overhang to that. Uh, but this, this whole fridge will be sort of panelled up to, uh, up to the start of the door. So basically the, the fridge will become built in. Will become sort of built in, won't it? With a um, well, it'd be hidden, hidden away. Yeah, if you just left hidden it at the end of the unit, it'd look a bit daft, wouldn't it? So, well, some people would leave the slot because I mean, the, the, to be fair, the side of it is silver. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I'm not doing that. I, I think it needs to. It needs Should a. We shouldn't. Nah, we have a panel. Absolutely, have a panel because let's let's say on on that on that panel, you could put something like a couple of spice racks or something like that. On there, oh which you could <laughs> on, on there, and your oils and things. But my cooking's inside. 
Well, it's, you ain't got far to reach, have you? It's only there. <laughs> so, so yeah, we'll be cooking here. Uh, cooking there. And now, the way now, the kitchen was laid out before, once we put a box there, what would have been the, the cooker housing? We were trying no... to figure out how to put some sort of decorative end. Yeah, but even even without... Decorative end. Yeah, rather than just a box. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't just have a box there. But when we did put that box there, there just wasn't enough room to walk along between it and the fridge. Regardless, if we we couldn't have put anything there, but it was also a sharp corner, it just wouldn't have fit. And this is all, I guess, is all the trials and tribulations of uh, building now a boat. You, and, and it's probably a good thing you just don't throw tons of money at it because you your thoughts change, don't they, over the yeah. process and stuff. So we're still keeping that door where Fran is. Yeah. Because I couldn't... I, I, yeah. Could, I, I, like I said, we could actually make it a little bit bigger now. Well, I don't think we, we, not yeah, much. not much because we got the the. the, uh, the <coughs> I'm tired this week. The um, the toilet and the sink has to go behind that, so we can't rob any of that wall space. <laughs> so now, now if you look, if you take, if we take you like a, you can see you you've got like a walk through now, Plen plenty of space really for now. Let me just flip that around. From this is from the bathroom end. You can see now there's a there's a wall, a nice wall. In fact, never really thought about it, but that is that is almost perfectly symmetrical now. That floor space is actually absolutely spot on. Okay, so no no radical changes as far as services uh, are concerned because that's already in as well. What we've also decided we it was always going to have a washing machine here. Now it's going to be a compact. A, a compact washing machine. Uh, with a drawer above. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Not ordering that yet, though. No, not that we're not... We, we'll order the drawer, the unit, but not yeah. the... Not, not the washing machine. Yeah, we're not, not desperate for that, We're not desperate for that, for that, yeah. for that are we, so... So... Right, okay, so... Um, that's, that's, that's that hashed out again. That's my kitchen. And we best try and sort that mess out now. Yeah, got to try and put all so that... So we, we need to... Uh, and that'll be it for tonight. Right, I think we're going to sign off for this video. <laughs> Get back on the... Oh no, we can't. Yeah, we got to put that away. Got to so, try and put all back that on the away. laptop. <laughs> well, to be fair, all we need—it's getting quite late now, isn't it? So, all we need to do, really, to be honest, is put these, put them bags here for now, and then we can look at that in the morning. Oh. Well, that's all we need to do, isn't it? You know. Anyway, we're we're going to carry on doing what we do. We've got a chili cooking in the hot pot. Jesus. It's Friday First night. One. It's Friday night. I don't even know. First what's... one today. Well, I've had I've had one beer, and it must be like nine o'clock. Oh my god. What's the matter with you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. So anyway, um, we're probably just going to call it a day for today and we'll catch up with you guys next week. Uh, possibly flu assembly, possibly more central heating uh, and we, we're going to then... We'll let you know if we've ordered the kitchen. We'll let you know if we've ordered the kitchen units. We, we found somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, on that, uh, we're looking at graphite grey carcasses. With a, a dark heritage green door, green heritage door. green door. There's a song there somewhere. Is it? Shaking Stevens, wasn't it? Oh, Beyond the Green Door. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> What's Beyond the Green Door generally is Pots and Pans. Yeah. Anyway, no. <laughs> right, okay. Oh so um, if you'd like to buy us a coffee, then uh, the link's just here, or the, the address is just there. Also down in the comments. Thanks for all those guys that bought us coffee last week. Yeah, thank um, you. Thank you. Yeah, your names will be going along here sometime, well, as I speak, maybe. So thank you so much. That really helps us. Much appreciated. And to be honest, every penny we get just buy stuff for the boat. So yeah, it, it, it really helps us out. A, a, a stack. I was able to get wax today. Oh, well, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we bought, we bought stainless steel flu and a, yeah, a, um, a, a, a collar assembly from Bubble Stoves. Yeah, Another it all that. helps. I think that was 250 quid right there. Yeah. So much appreciated. Much appreciated, guys. Thanks for everyone that's done that. And thanks for our subscribers as well and and our uh, channel members. We really appreciate it. So please keep them coming. Keep them coming. Yes. <laughs> the more the merrier. So, right, we're off. Uh, uh, yeah, we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers. So if you're watching us on the telly. And you haven't. And you haven't. Do us a favour and go to your phone or your laptop and sign in and. Give us a subscribe. It's free. It's free. It helps. It helps us a, a absolute stack. So please do. Okay. So see, see you next time, guys. See you. Have a great week. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.